Radio Mobile is bringing together technology in new ways, helping to define and create the world's first 5G-enabled fire response system. We are all very used to today's technology and the, the speed of improvements. We all have smartphones, we all do streaming television, we have self-driving cars, um, but it's important to understand how this technology that evolves every day can really help the first responders in saving lives, saving properties, keeping our families safe. With edge computing and AI, we can have cameras on hilltops that have AI that can detect, recognize fires, smoke. So these cameras could be smart enough to call the 911 center and the operator has now the ability to see what the camera sees. They can recognize whether this is a a false alarm or whether this is a real situation that they need to respond to. They can see it on the map in real time. They see every resource and their status. Once the firefighters are alerted at the fire station, they jump into their fire engines and they have the same information there. It's the address, the location, uh, the mapping, the navigation. And rather than somebody describing what's happening, seeing that video live, uh, gives them the best way to prepare to be the most effective and efficient in responding to that fire. If they're able to have some kind of visual aid, and firefighters were, were very visual, if, if we can actually have a, a camera or any kind of video live streaming that we can actually gain that intelligence from to make a, a more informed decision on an additional response or being able to supplement the response that we already have there, I think would be very helpful. There are technologies like head-mounted headsets that provide two-way video communication and a form of augmented reality. Rather than having just a, a, a building map, you can have video that allows you to walk through the building. You can see stairways, you can see elevators. Um, and again, you can prepare yourself on the way there and familiarize yourself with the building so that you have no surprises when you, when you walk in. During bigger fires, they always set up a local command center that's where the video streams from the live cameras come, but the same streams can continue into the, the remote control centers and the 911 center, where the operator may still be on the phone with the person who, who warned about the incident, so everybody stays in real-time communication. This is how today's advances in technology, 5G, artificial intelligence, edge computing, is helping our first responders and the firefighters keeping all of us safe.